So to configure account determination, go to SPRO, IMG, Sales and Distribution, Basic Functions and Accounting. Now, we have seen the first step in the previous chapter, right? Master Data. Now, we start with the condition technique. Field Catalog. So go inside, what do you see? Just a bunch of fields, 13 fields. It's not like the field catalog of pricing, right? There were 200 fields there. This is much more manageable, much more simple. So you can use order reason, condition type, account assignment group, any of these fields in any combination. Let's configure a scenario like this. Customers place orders over the phone. There could be regular sales or gift sales. Like how you can gift wrap certain products on Amazon.com. Say, any order can be converted to a gift order on the flight. At the last moment, the customer says that this is a gift order. We should be able to do it on the fly. There are many ways to do it. But one parameter that can be changed on the fly is the order reason. Because when we are in the middle of creating a transaction, say OR, you enter all the materials, you can't really change it to another document type without having to go all the way back. Well, there is one way, but that's a shortcut, more or less. So I have chosen order reason because it's a simple drop down, makes things easy for me. You can configure a set of values there and change them on the flight anytime during order creation, right? So let's say the accounting de department says, all regular sales need to go to this account and all gift sales need to go to this account. How can we configure this? So create a new condition table, go here, choose a number, say 790, choose order reason, that's it. We don't want anything else. Generate the table. Step number three, access sequence. How many do you have here? This is standard SAP right out of the box. Just two. Again, we don't have a ton of access sequences here like pricing. Even in a very productive system, you're not going to see more than two or three at most. The standard ones being COFI, K-O-F-I, and K-O-F-K. They should just work fine. But we want to create our own, right? We are trying to learn. So let's start by creating the copy of COFI. Just like how we did with pricing. We took PR00, copied it, and made our own. Right? So select COFI, copy it as Z05, select it. Double click on accesses. Then these are our condition tables. Make sure they're all properly mapped. Just follow the steps that you do in pricing. Now go there, go to the next level, double click, make sure everything is green or blue. Now, let's put our new condition table here, 790. And we want to put it at the very top.
so select that row double click on fields and check the fields are mapped save it step number four is account determination type which is similar to condition type in pricing let's create a new type same as the access sequence zofi z o f i and we're going to associate it with the access sequence zofi we just created that in the previous step right save it step number 5 account determination procedure remember r v a a 01 that was our pricing procedure so similarly here this k o f i 00 is an example of a account determination procedure it's in fact the standard account determination procedure delivered out of the box do you want to change it no right just make a copy of it select copy all so put your own z name there z o f i 00 go inside it and instead of cofi put our custom type zofi that's the custom account determination type step number 6 is account determination procedure assignment in pricing it was a little complicated the determination was based on three parameters right sales area document pricing procedure customer pricing procedure this and that now this one luckily is not all that complicated just assign it to the billing type that's it again don't disturb the existing document types create your own go to billing document types vofa vov8 is sales document types right so vofa is billing document types take uh, f2 make a copy of it that's our standard billing document type Uh, give it a name z char or z r j anything now to create an invoice of this type what do you need can you create an invoice directly no you have to start from sales right so to start from sales you need two things first a sales document type it could be Um, a z document type any z document type and ensure that the copy controls exist between that document type and this one right now you have created your own billing document type very good go back to define and assign and assign the newly created account determination procedure zofi00 to the custom billing document type the assignment is done step number 7 is condition record maintenance right that's what condition technique says slight change here in account determination condition record maintenance is not done by the users so it's all done in spro not an easy access all done in spro right here so go to assign account keys so think of this as an equivalent for vk11 what do you see here your scenario 
is there as one of the rows right order reason double click it you see a blank screen now with pricing creating condition records very easy go to week 11 enter the material put a price and you're done this one is a little difficult just the first entry so to make that first entry go back and take the simplest scenario we will copy entries from there all right so take this example double click it and let's see what the standard columns are all right so what's the first column it says a so account determination a stands for application account determination is used by many different applications and v we know stands for sales so for our record they should always be v the next one is condition type what do you see typically kofi that is the standard one supplied by sap what are we going to use zofi this one is called the chart of accounts chart of accounts is a group of gl accounts that's all there is to it for for all practical purposes for us as d consultants that's it it is associated with a company code so you can see it here go to spro img financial accounting company code and enter global parameters by the way this is something you would never have to worry about in a project you just have to ask your fi consultant they would be able to give you the chart of accounts uh, associated with that company code but for today just pick it from this path so go to the path select company code 1000 and what's the chart of accounts here INT international make a note of it and the next parameter is the account key this is the missing link the most important one here rest of them are mostly standard remember the pricing procedure chapters one of the fields in the pricing procedure is the account key we didn't discuss it there but it's time to discuss it now so let's take an example take an order with line item 10 material m01 now go to the respective pricing the pricing condition pr00 say 100 and a discount say k004 10 dollars subtotal 90 and then you have a freight of five dollars ten percent tax now let's see how the account postings happen the hundred dollars go to the revenue account as a credit discounts get posted to the sales deduction as a debit freight will be posted to the freight account as a credit tax will be a credit so the final receivable here 104.5 will be posted to a recon account as a debit like i said the missing link here between the condition types and the gl account is the account keys for revenue we use erl erl for deductions we use ers tax is mws we don't have to remember these just remember erl ers more than enough freight will be something else once the condition types in the pricing procedure are assigned to the account key from that point on the account determination configuration will take care of the rest 
so the account keys in pricing are the links that connect the condition types to the GL accounts so with our background let's come back to our configuration double click on our table click on new entries select the application column V V for sales condition type ZOFI chart of accounts INT order reason is you can pick something doesn't matter just say 001 now put your GL account here a word of caution if you go to the pop-up and select some random GL account it might not work why just like customers have an account group right that categorizes one from the other even GL accounts have properties not all GL accounts are the same for example if you want to configure a revenue account determination you can pick some account that cannot act as a revenue account say a tax account so only a certain types of accounts can be revenue certain types can be tax certain types can be recon we are not qualified to judge which one is what so it's best to choose from examples examples that work so your FI consultant will give it to you in a real project but for now just pick some guy I know this works so just pick it all right it's time to test it now go create an order of type ZRHA the one that we have configured enter any customer any material but make sure that you enter the order reason 001 because that's the combination for which we have done the account determination right so deliver it bill it and finally view the accounting document how do you see it go to the document flow see this is the accounting document select it and click on display document this is the revenue account eight da, 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 zero zero let's cross verify this with the config let me open the config in another window do you see the account see both these accounts are the same that is how account determination is configured in SAP.